Hey everyone, it's Dare, and I wanted to talk to you guys about something that actually I've been doing for the past two-ish years now, and I don't think a lot of people really know about it, to be honest. Like, I keep it pretty, like, under wraps, but it's actually something I'm gonna be quitting here soon in the new year, and I'm a little disappointed about it, but I wanted to have this video to look back on when, um, in the future, I'm like, hey, like, I remember when I used to do this thing, and I, I have something to kind of watch about it. Somebody commented not too long ago that I'm genuinely not a very interesting person, and people only come to my YouTube channel just for my looks. And I think that they have some truth sprinkled into that comment that a lot of people only come to my channel for my looks because that's mainly all I post is my try-on hauls. But, <laughs> but surprisingly enough, actually, I participate in falconry. Oh my gosh, my phone's blowing up. But surprisingly enough, I actually do some unique and fun things that people don't really know about because I don't crush them down your throat or like promote them everywhere because some things I just enjoy doing because I like doing them for me. One thing I actually do is called falconry, as you can tell by the title of this video. It's when you can work and train birds of prey, like falcons or hawks. But for me personally, I actually had a job at a local theme park where I got to go in every day and hang out with some birds of prey and actually fly them in a show. Um, it, this is something that is actually a very unique skill that a lot of people ask me about how to go about getting a falconry license and how I got started in this. And oddly enough, I started off as an actress at this job that I worked at and because I showed up all the time and I was really dedicated and I loved my job, they asked me if I wanted to learn and be a part of their falconry program. Now initially I said no because I was a little nervous at first because I had never worked with animals before, but I actually was pretty decent at it. Um, I said no at first when they offered me the position, but it took some time to think about it and I ended up learning how to fly a bird in the show, which was amazing and took a lot of dedication and hard work and something I had no experience in that I actually became really good at. People usually ask me when I go out what are like some ways to go about getting a falconing license and how they can too become a falconer. But with my job, I actually didn't have to pursue a license. I was able to fly the birds of prey in a show and hang out with them and take good care of them in my own time while I was at work without a license. And we can do that because we were flying a very exotic and unique type of bird that wasn't found in the United States initially. So legally I could fly this bird. Now, if you are interested in going about your falconry license, all you have to do is Google it and you can find out all the information you need in order to pursue it and eventually become a falconer full time or part time or however you'd like to. I personally just enjoyed doing it as my job I personally just enjoyed doing it as my job. Kind of a fun like side hobby in a way because it was something I'd never really done before. And I actually have a clip of myself flying the bird of prey in the show, so I'm gonna insert that so you guys can watch it. Um, you guys might recognize the area that the show is taking place in or like where I actually work, but I'm actually um, gonna be leaving and quitting there soon since I am moving, which I'm gonna do a video on that soon so you guys kind of know what's going on. But here's the clip of me flying the bird of prey. Enjoy. I'm gonna give you a seat as well, my lady. With an awaiting right hunter right. upon her fist, it is my honor to present Her Majesty's Master Falconer. For the talons are sharp, and the keen eyes locked upon the task. What? The falcon, poised for flight, has come forth hooded. But once the hood has been removed, the age-old dance of the hunted and the hunter begins. Behold, she takes wing.
off of the lure to ensure she remains keen or hungry to the target for flights in the future. And then she will entice her back to her glove. And the thing that I'm f flinging around in my hand and spinning is called a lure. It's basically a rope with a um, piece of wood on one end and a bean bag on the other. No, that's not actually like a dead animal on the end of it that I'm swinging around. It's just a little bean bag that we train the birds of prey to chase in the middle of the arena. Excuse me. I am by no means um, a falcon expert, but if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below, and I can answer them to the best of my ability. I mainly wanted to put this in video format because I had a really good and cool video of myself flying the bird in the show, and I just wanted to share some like more fun, unique facts about myself, especially since I had someone basically say that like I'm not interesting, and honestly, I beg to differ. I think I'm a very interesting person. I just don't broadcast every aspect of my life on the internet, which, you know, is smart. <laughs> like, I don't see a lot of celebrities or Instagram models really posting every little detail of their lives on the internet for future ridicule or people to just bug them and mock them in their regular person life. I think that's the best part about my job as a influencer is that I can honestly turn off the camera and turn off social media whenever I feel like it's getting too overwhelming or people are getting, you know, to be a little too much is that I am a person, um, I have good and bad days, I have comments in my YouTube comment section that affect me and I have comments that really help build me up and inspire me and, you know, I take them all with a grain of salt and I I think I do a good job of staying positive and um, being myself. So if you guys have any problem with that, I guess unsubscribe and leave. Like I don't, I don't know why you keep watching. If you think I'm so uninteresting or if you seem to have like an issue with me, just don't watch the video. But honestly, all the hate actually makes more comments on my videos and puts my video higher up on the algorithm. So I don't really care, anyways. But I just wanted to put out there that this is a fun thing I used to do. This is a fun video I have of me performing in the show. I don't think I, I like, I really want to do um, a few more shows before I actually quit my job. So I, I probably will go in and, and work my job a few more times. But I'm, I'm going to be quitting soon. So I just wanted this to commemorate and come back and, and watch later on in life when, you know, when I don't do it anymore. And I'm kind of using YouTube as like my video hub for a lot of different fun things that I used to do. And it's actually today, oddly enough, is my one year anniversary from YouTube. So it's very exciting. I'll probably make a video about that. But thank you guys for watching this falconing video. I'm sorry if it was like uninteresting to you, but to me, honestly, I really like cherish these moments of my life when I did this falconry program and I got to work with the birds of prey and met some really nice people. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I really, Loved having a good time, or I loved doing that. I had a good time with it. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram at Dare Taylor Official. Don't forget to check out my Patreon and my OnlyFans links in the description down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, <laughs> I hope you all have a magical day, and I hope magical things happen to you. Mm. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>